welcome along guys well as you know I've tested more or less all of the the naked 1000cc large capacity bikes now well apart from the Kawasaki range of said bikes and the well and the monsters from Ducati welcome along guys as you know I've tested a lot of the new naked bikes and they're all fantastic naked bikes I absolutely love them but there's one thing they all don't have and that is any wind protection and this is where the GSXS F comes into its own I've had this bike for about a month Probably, probably probably five weeks something like that from Suzuki I've had it as a real one of the longest bikes I've ever had on test and it's lovely that because you really do get to get a really good feel for a bike much more so than you could ever do in a test test ride or even if you've just got it for a couple of weeks you actually get to use it in so many different conditions you can really test it out and you and you get to learn its little nuances so it's very insightful I mean this isn't a hyper naked like my Super Duke this doesn't have that sort of torque this is a straight for 1000cc engine from the actually the old 2005-2008 GSX-R slightly detuned for more mid-range putting out around 160 brake 150 160 brake so still absolutely plenty <laughs> this thing's rapid don't think this is a big lazy boring naked because it's got a bit of fairing on the front don't let that fool you this thing can properly shift when you wind it up cue they're properly shifting it's got that practicality with the screen you really can cruise at 95 miles an hour on this no problem whatsoever without ducking that 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 air is is straight over your helmet so you can you really can do decent cruising speeds on this it's 160 brake it goes like an absolute rocket ship but it's not an uncomfortable bike to ride it doesn't use the GSX-R frame this is a dedicated frame on this bike even though it's the GSX-R engine they haven't done the lazy option and just stuck some high bars on the GSX-R this is a redesigned bike different frame the swinging arm is from the GSX-R but it's, it's all geared up and made as a dedicated bike so this isn't your normal sort of cut and shut which a lot of these straight four sports bike orientated origin bikes are like the S1000R is basically just a cut and shut of the double R same with the Tuono you know it's a, it's a cut and shut of the RS34 this is all new so that, there's top marks to Suzuki for doing that suspension on this is more comfort than sport really it's got KYB forks fully adjustable preload rebound compression same with the shock KYB shock it, it's, it's okay the, the, the suspension is adequate it's not the best suspension in the world but it's as good as the Super Duke suspension the Super Duke suspension is not the best suspension in the world either so you know even if you but you pay premium money for your uh, your hyper naked you're still not guaranteed premium suspension so suspension's good it's comfortable you could probably have it revalved play around with it make it a little bit better this is this is a perfect bike if you want a bike that does everything i'd say if you want a bike to get you to work on to commute on you want a bike you want to do a few miles on a bit of touring perhaps and you also want something which is insanely fast when you need it to be and this is about it sounds great it sounds absolutely great that gsxr engine is still even though it's 13 years old it's still an absolutely stonking power plant it was the best engine back in its day and it's still good now and because it's an older engine it's got you know it's, it's proven absolutely proven power plant this right i'm going to pull over and we'll have a little look ski at the details this is new for this year the whole the all white 
which are actually quite light. When it's clean, it looks stunning. It's a bit dirty at the moment, but when it's clean, it looks lovely. But I think the black and the red is my favourite colour of these. The exhaust is decent. For a Euro 4 exhaust, it's decent. You know, it's much better than the standard GSX-R exhaust. I don't know why, but it, it certainly is. From the front, it does look a bit like a big scooter. I'm not sure about the looks from the front. I'm not sure. It's certainly stealth. You're not going to get any trouble from the boys in blue on it because it doesn't look anything special from the front. From the side, it looks nice. Sort of shark-like from the side, I suppose. Brembo calipers as well. As, a pr as it's a fairly practical bike, let's see what we've got under the, the tail. It's got a toolkit and you've got room. That's the manual. You do have room for a whole Happy Meal in there. That is surprisingly spacious, actually. That's one of the most spacious bikes I've, I've seen. So that's pretty good. So you could actually fit your sandwiches in there. Traction control, I've got it turned off at the moment, which is why you can see the orange light. There's three different mo, or four if you can count the off. It's one, two, three, and they're progressive with how much in interference it will give. It's a pretty good system. It's not lean sensitive nor is the ABS, you know, it's got ABS but it's not lean sensitive or, or angle sensitive ABS so it, the, the electronics are relatively basic on this, it's not got, it's not cutting edge, it's not got the latest electronic gizmos there's no quick shifter, there's no blipper, you know, you've got ABS, you've got traction control, that's it there's not even any modes, there's not even any modes, it's just the bike, that's it the original one of these I tried back in 2015, it was a little bit snatchy. There was a lot of complaints from owners about a snatchy throttle response. Suzuki have addressed that now, and it is much, much better. If you've got it six or 7,000 revs, it can, it can still be a little bit snatchy, but I think that's just your normal Euro 4 restrictions coming in there. It's been addressed, it's fine now. It's not particularly heavy this, it's about 215 kilos wet, which is pretty average. Similar weight to the uh, Super Duke, similar weight to the Tuono. Because they've gone for this, you know, this dedicated frame on this, it is actually lighter than the GSX-R frame because it doesn't need quite so much rigidity. The brakes are pretty good, they're not like the GSX-R, it doesn't have that dead spot on the lever. The brakes engage immediately, they're a little bit soft to start with. You have to give them a reasonable tug, but they work absolutely fine. If you're coming off something like the Super Duke with the M50s, you're going to notice that initial bite isn't as good. The best thing about this bike is it's only a smidgen over £10,000. It's an absolute bargain. It is an absolute bargain. Let us pass! It can be a hooligan if you want it to be a hooligan. That's, that's what I like about it. I know I go on about this all the time, every review, but every bike I borrow from Suzuki, I'm just so impressed by the mechanical beauty of them. They, everything just works so nicely. If you've ridden like an Italian bike or a European bike or some of the other Japanese bikes, you get on a Suzuki, and things just work the way you would expect them to work. There's no little annoyances, you know, there's no, oh, it's hard to find neutral, there's none of that. Everything just works beautifully. The engines sound so smooth, the gearboxes are just luscious to use. Uh, you start them up from cold and then you've got this easy start system where you don't, you know, you just press the button once, you don't have to hold it down, press it once and that's it, forget it, the bike will start itself. They've got the, it's just the whole Suzuki range has got this. They've got the, uh, the, 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 the pull away assist, the clutch assist, so if you're, if you're pulling away it will rev the bike slightly to help you so, so you don't stall it, so it's like an assist to pulling away, which sounds silly. 
but it's little things like that when they work well just add to the overall feel of a bike when that power comes in that front end tries to lift not a slow bike by any any stretch of the imagination that's not even giving it full full welly that's just a mere tickle of a throttle let's give it a little bit of a razz